And now, suspense. Your host is Autolite, world's largest independent manufacturer of automotive electrical equipment, maker of over 400 products for cars, trucks, tractors, airplanes, and boats in 28 plants from coast to coast. Autolite products include dependable stay-full batteries, horns, electric windshield wipers, relays, ignition coils, spark plug wire, and battery cable. Autolite also makes starting motors, distributors, generators, instruments and gauges, and a complete line of ignition engineered standard and resistor type spark plugs. Yes, from bumper to tail light, you're always right with Autolite. And now, Autolite and its 96,000 dealers everywhere present Suspense. a number of years, is that right? Yes. In fact, your daughter was born here. Yes. And during this time, you have, I am told, become a leading citizen of the Chinese section of this city. My father says he is honored to be so described, although he would not so describe himself. Now, in all this time and with all this knowledge, how would you estimate the amount of racketeering and gambling that goes on down there? Watch it, you old go. Don't you spill on me. We are waiting, Mr. Chan Su. Mr. Chan Su, will you answer this question? How would you estimate the amount of gambling that goes on in Chinatown? My father says there isn't any gambling. No gambling at all. Uh, I believe you're acquainted with a Michael McDermott. No, you don't know him? Oh, surely, Mr. Chan Su, you must know this gentleman. Mr. McDermott, will you stand up, please? Uh, Mr. McDermott has been a detective in your neighborhood for 10 years. He knows you. Do you know him? Yeah, I know. Well, now that we've refreshed your memory, perhaps you also recollect another gentleman by the name of Salt Lake Jones. Mr. Jones, will you rise, please? Uh, do you remember Mr. Jones? Yeah. Uh -huh. And you may also remember that Mr. Jones has been a newspaper reporter. And that for several years he worked in your section of the city. Now you do know Mr. Jones. Yeah. Now, Miss Sue, would you say that these two gentlemen probably know what's going on around there? I suppose so, yes. And if each of these men testified that gambling was wide open in Chinatown and was ruled over by one ruthless racketeer called Louis Wong, would you be inclined to agree or disagree? You don't know? Ask your father. Now, what does he say? He says they have their eyes to see. He has his eyes. His eyes have seen nothing. Do you know Louis Wong? Do you? Ask your father if he knows Louis Wong. Uh oh. Here comes trouble. Hello? Yeah? The captain. Listen, call me back, will you, fella? I'm watching the TV show. They just asked old Mayor Sue, does he know me?
Do you or do you not know Louis Wong? <coughs> no. Never heard him referred to as the crime boss down there? Mr. Fowler, Louis Wong? No. Uh, have you ever heard of Louis Wong paying large sums of money <coughs> here for police down. protection? My father says he is a simple citizen and begs to be excused because he's not feeling well considering his age. Have you ever heard of Louis Wong making large political contributions to both parties? My father says he is a simple citizen and begs to Why be excused. Why are you people so terrorized? Who terrorizes the good people down there? Louis Wong? My father says he is a simple citizen. Yes, indeed, he is a simple citizen and a very poor, unworthy one, too. But the most shocking thing is you yourself, Miss Sue. You're an honest American. Why are you afraid to speak out? You live in this country. You and your father have the, enjoyed the rights of this country. Why do you hesitate to defend that? Why? Why? Uh, Miss Sue, uh, Margaret Sue, is that right? Yes. What is your occupation? I'm a school teacher. Public school teacher? That's right. Lincoln School, sixth grade. How many students do you have? Forty-three. Do you think that some of your students might be uh, watching these proceedings on a television set? They might. Now, Miss Sue, supposing some of your students are watching you right this minute, how do you think they might feel about the example you're setting them? Speak up, Miss Sue. Will you kindly answer the question for the benefit of your students? What do you say, Miss Sue? That's all for the day. Dismissed. Well, boss, how do you feel now? Not too bad. I knew the girl don't know nothing from nobody, but I was afraid maybe her old man might talk. No, he never talk. Get a hold of the juice man, will you? We ought to send around a few presents. I was afraid maybe the old man might tip him off who the juice man is. Then we'd be done for. You should worry. You got a woman scared. Come, come, go and do that. Mm. If you don't mind my saying so, sir, uh, I think the only way we can get to the bottom of this is to find the juice man. The juice man? Uh, yes, sir. He's the go-between. He keeps the money flowing from the gamblers to City Hall and the protection flowing from City Hall to the gamblers. Sully. Uh, wouldn't you say he was the key figure? Oh, sure. If you get the juice man, sir, you'll get everything. And Louis Wong plays it smart. Now, what do you mean by that? Well, Louis never talks to any cops, any captains or judges. You never see him out with any politicians. You see, the uh, juice man does that for him. Well, then why don't you boys go out and bring in the juice man? Oh, <laughs> take the FBI to do that, sir. I think one good detective and one good reporter is enough. <laughs> good afternoon, gentlemen. Good day. Good afternoon. Oh, Sully. How about you and me going down to Chinatown, seeing what we can uh, find out? Might be an idea. You know, if we uh, stuck our noses out far enough, we might find the juice man. Sounds good to me. I'll give you a good story. Give you a good promotion. Okay, pal, it's a deal. All right. Been in yet? I was looking for him across the street, but his office is still dark.
seen a ghost. Do you know where we can find any of that committee now? Sure, you want to call him or something? Padre decided to tell them what he knows. Hey, that's great. He's ashamed. We're both very much ashamed. Don't let that committee get you down. No, he's determined. He wants to tell them now. He's afraid if he waits till morning. Well, that's just McDermott. You don't have to worry about him. Hey, Max, she says her old man wants to spill what he knows. Yeah? What does he know? Does he know who the juice man is? Yes, he knows. Are you kidding? No, he knows. He wouldn't tell me, but he knows. Look, Margaret, I'll get on the phone and locate somebody on that committee. You stay here and keep your eye out for Louis Wong. In the meantime, get the old man ready to go. Sure. What's the deal? Let's get a cab at the corner. Just a moment, we'll return for the second act of tonight's suspense story. But before we do, this is Rex, Ringmaster Marshall, inviting you to step right up, ladies and gentlemen, for the most stupendous, sensational, and scintillating show on Earth. First, we call your attention to what happened one time during the spectacle of the worn-out spark plugs. Now, you see, there's Garganza the gigantic gorilla, a really tough ape. But you see, Garganza's cage started to bounce. The truck had a case of worn-out spark plugs, and it made that gorilla forget to be ferocious. The giraffe was heading for a broken neck, and even little Jocko wished they'd quit monkey around. <laughs> well, friends, maybe our circus spectacle was a little bit too sensational, but you know it is a fact that if your spark plugs aren't functioning properly, you may find that your car is sluggish, lacks power, wastes gas, slow on the pickup, and not up to par on the hills. So that's why it pays to have your spark plugs checked regularly. And of course, this is a very good time of year to do it when you're having your car serviced for the good driving days ahead. Now, when you do, be sure to look for this sign right here. There's where you'll find a qualified Autolite spark plug dealer will be ready to compare your spark plugs with this exclusive Autolite plug check indicator. You see, by checking the firing nose of your spark plugs with this handy indicator, he can tell in a jiffy if your spark plugs are right for your type of driving. Now, if cleaning or adjustments are necessary, and for best results, spark plugs should be cleaned every 5,000 miles or so, he has the proved Autolite spark plug cleaner to do the job as well as all the latest information on how to do it quickly and efficiently. If replacements are needed, he'll recommend the proper type of Autolite spark plug, standard, or resistor for your car and your style of driving to give you smoother performance, quick starts, and gas savings. 
You know, friends, all ignition-engineered Autolite spark plugs are designed by the same engineers who designed the coil, the battery, the distributor, the generator, and all the other important parts that go to make up the complete ignition system, which is used as original factory equipment on many leading makes of our finest cars. So that's why ignition-engineered Autolite spark plugs are tops in quality and tops in performance. So why don't you take a tip from me and look for this sign right here and pay a visit to your neighborhood Autolite spark plug dealer this week. You know, he's the only man who has the exclusive Autolite plug check indicator to give you a quick, accurate recommendation on the type of spark plug best suited for your style of driving. And of course, he's the only one who can offer you your choice of ignition engineered resistor or standard type Autolite spark plugs. Pay him a visit this week, and when you do, you'll find out why you're always right with Autolite. And now, the second act of The Juice Man, starring Cloris Leachman. Oh, I wonder if you could help me locate someone. Yes. Uh, Miss Margaret Sue. Do you know where I can find her? Uh, yes. See, uh, uh, ice cream parlor now. Oh, thank you very much. Well, there. It's good to see you again. Hello, Mac. If you're worried about Margaret Sue, you can relax. They got me watching her every minute. Well, I'm not here officially at all. I read in the paper about your father. I was very shocked. I felt I had to talk with you. Would you sit down? Of course, when I heard he was killed on the way to see us, I was deeply disturbed. Because I am involved and was really responsible. You mustn't feel that. Believe me, I feel very badly. We all do. We're thinking hard to, to find some new method of investigation so that we can still uncover the criminal, but not jeopardize the innocent. I believe now that father had answered your questions fully, as he should have, that nothing would have happened to him. They all would have been afraid to get him. Don't you want some tea? No, thank you. I suppose half the troubles in the world come from people like us who know what's right only, who wait and wait, and then when they do anything about it, it's too late. I read that your father said something to you just as he was dying. But according to the newspaper report, you said he was so weak he couldn't understand you. Was that true? Was what true? Was it true he couldn't understand you? Don't you want to go outside? Oh, just as you like. It's such a warm sunny day we could sit outside. I don't think spring has ever been so late this year. It may seem so late. Anna? Popcorn? Hello, Chakwa. Hey, hello. Oh, hi. Oh, 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 o
Only I don't know who's, who he's watching for. You think he might be involved with that? I'm afraid so. Oh, Margaret, I don't think so. I think so. I think he must have told him about Father. What makes you think that? He knew Father and I were on our way to see you. What was he doing when you went to telephone? Well, he was keeping an eye out for Louis Wong. Where was Wong? In the ice cream parlor. Mac was on the street. Couldn't he have tipped him off? Well, it's an angle. I'll think about it. Terrible to be afraid and whisper every time you want to say anything. For your sake, I shouldn't be seeing you like this. Oh, no. All my life, I'm going to be scared. I might as well. Tell me, did your father say anything to you before he died? Yes, he did. Name any names. Not exactly. What then? Just before father died, Louis Wong came up to us. He acted very friendly, thanked father for not talking, and then said he wanted to give him a present. But your father didn't accept it? No. But Louis Wong said he wanted to give it to him anyway, and that if father were afraid to be seen taking it, he should pick it up at the same place, go between gets his. But he didn't tell you where that was? No, but I could tell father knew. And that is what he told you before he died? Yes. He said, every Sunday night at 9.30, the go-between picks up the money from Tim. Tim? Who is Tim? He's the man on the corner who sells newspapers. Have a drink. No. Just for a second, got a question to ask you. Come in, Come in, <laughs> You like to hear the Fred Waring show? <laughs> Ever since I heard the attorney talking to you, I'm wondering to myself what the devil your daddy could have said to you before he died. So would you tell us? And the faster you tell us, the happier you'll be. Nothing, he said nothing. No! Let's try it again. What did your daddy say before he died? Nothing. No! They pause. No. They pause, they say in the courtroom. You refresh your memory, hmm? <laughs> now then, maybe you tell us what you said to the attorney outside on the bench, hmm? You tell us that? Everything. I, everything. And what is everything? What is everything? Everything my father told me. Oh, so he did say something. Yes. Continue. What did your daddy say? He said the go, go between. Yes. Uh, he said the go between picks up the money every Sunday night at nine thirty. That's very interesting. That would mean just about no. I know. That's why I said it. Because there he is now. There's the attorney watching. Yeah. I 
Tim, how's the state of the world tonight? Hey, what are you doing going around scaring guys like that? What's the news? Any dope on the juice, man? No, not that I've heard. Oh, let me see your paper. Wait a minute, juice man, you dirty copper. A couple of questions. Yeah, there are a couple of questions. I want to ask them and our friend Jonesy. Come on, let's get down there now. All right. And Sully, too. Maybe you'd like to ask him why he didn't phone you that night. What do you mean? I called? Yes, you went to call, but you didn't. You called the ice cream parlor. That's a lie. You knew that Louis Wong was there, and you told him about Margaret's father. What happened then, Lee Poe? I kind of forget. Did you kind of slip out and throw that knife into her father's back? All right, take him away. Is that what happened, Sully? Come on, come on, a dumb cop's asking you a question. Is that the way it happened? Yeah, I guess that's about it. Come on, get up. Taking you down to the station. You mind if I phone in my story? Oh, let's get off. Thank you. Good night, Margaret. Autolite and its 96,000 dealers have just brought you another story of suspense. Tonight, The Juice Man, starring Cloris Leachman. In just a moment, I'll tell you the title of our story for next week and the name of our star. First, though, a quick reminder to you drivers before we go that Autolite spark plugs are ignition engineered. They're carried by your neighborhood Autolite spark plug dealer. So pay him a visit, and if your car needs replacements, he'll recommend either resistor or standard type ignition engineered Autolite spark plugs in accordance with the manufacturer's specifications and the heat range of your engine. Remember, Wherever you see this sign, you'll find an Autolite spark plug dealer. So pay him a visit, and you'll find out why you're always right with Autolite. story will be Murderer's Meeting, starring Jackie Cooper and featuring Wally Cox. A story well calculated to keep you in suspense. Also, be sure to listen to Suspense each Thursday night on your radio. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.